Well, hey gang, welcome back to the channel. I have finally finished up this little false tailgate thing that I built for my little window air conditioning unit that I'm gonna be using this summer here in Texas. Because without any type of air conditioning, camping season basically ends in this month. So this is my third prototype of this. And it's not quite as simple as I was hoping it was gonna be because these tailgates aren't flat and straight like they used to be, at least on my Ford. It's got a whole bunch of nooks and crannies and I kind of had to figure out how to deal with all of that. So I'm going to bring you in closer and show you how I did it. And then we're going to run a test with the AC unit because it's supposed to get to around 88, 89 degrees today. So it's going to be around 95 or 100 inside that cab. Let me pull you in closer and show you what I did and then show you how I actually have to put it in. So here we have it set up and it is only held in place by these tailgate latches on both sides. That is really it. And this is just a sheet of 5 8 inch plywood, some 1 by 3s for framing that I put around the cutout for the AC unit just to give it a little bit more rigidity. And then this whole gizmo up here. So I had to come up with a way to, when I close this tailgate down, when I close this back glass down, it actually seals up on here because the way Ford tailgates are, they come out and around. They're not just straight. So I had to, to put on another one by three, and then I put another one by three underneath it, and then I even added some little L brackets up here on all the corners and in the middle. And then to seal it up, I just got some, some stick on foam insulation, put a layer going down, and then put another layer going up across it. And I'll show you inside, but when I close this tailgate down, it presses up against this and gives it a really good seal. Now the other kind of funky thing is, since I have this bed rug, this plywood does not slide all the way down to the bottom and hit bottom. Because this bed rug is the full length of the tailgate and the bed. So I had to build some little braces that this sits on, on the corners and in the middle. So here's just one of them. And all it is, is a little piece of oak that I had, put a notch in it. And then I put a notch in the bottom of the false tailgate and I just slide it under and it holds it up. And these act as kind of braces so it's not just sitting on this little piece of carpet that the bed rug has. So, okay, so I have it out now and I'm gonna show you how I have to put it in. I built it pretty tight so to try to eliminate any gaps. So it's a little, it's a little tricky to get in, but it's really the only way to do it to make sure you have as minimum gaps as possible. So to start, you gotta put the right side in behind that tailgate latch. And then over here on the left, there's a small notch. And that's going to be where this tailgate latch goes through and then it falls down and holds it into place. Just like that. So that's where that notch is. And now that's where my tailgate is. So I have to push it through and then it falls down. And then I put those braces on to keep it up. And then I slide in the air conditioning unit. And now that's basically set up. So now let me grab the air conditioning unit and show you how that works. Okay, so here's just a little brace that I have for it to sit on. You don't really need it, but I think it helps it stay a little bit more sturdy. So the air conditioning unit is back behind here and you have to pull it through. And then you can use this block to kind of prop this thing up just a little bit. Just gives it a little more stability. And that's the air conditioning unit set up. Probably took three minutes to get that done. So let me show you what it looks like from the inside. And yeah, whew, it's already getting hot. So this is it from the inside. And let me close this glass down. So perfect seal all along this. And when I lock it down, it even pulls it in tighter. Now there's still a little bit of gaps that I've got to probably put a little bit more insulation on, like here. And over here. There we go, there's some lights. So right now it's 93 degrees in here. 
This is a Bluetooth thermometer. So I'm gonna put it right here on my cabinet and I'm gonna turn this AC unit on and I'm gonna come back and check in about 30 minutes to see where we sit, see if this thing works as well as I hope it does. I'm gonna turn this thing to max cool. Is this hot? All right, let's get out and turn this thing on. Ooh, it's dark. And see how well this works. All right, so it is now 2.10. So it's been running for about 30 minutes and it is now sitting at 80.2 degrees. I think we started at 94 degrees. So it's dropped quite a bit in 30 minutes and it's running just great. So this is exciting news. And you know, normally when I get to camp, I'll get, I'll get this thing set up as soon as I get there and I'll let it run if I have shore power until I go to bed so it can run for three, four, five hours and get the inside of this truck ice cold. But I'm gonna check back in around three o'clock and show you what the temperature is then because i think it should be sitting at around 70 or even below but awesome i'm so pumped about this okay gang so it is three o'clock now so this has been running for roughly an hour and 20 minutes or so and we are sitting at 73 degrees in here so this thing is working like a champ and I'm just super pumped because that means again, these 105 degree Texas days that are about to start happening pretty soon, this should be able to take care of it. Now, this is kind of of a temporary setup, I guess. There are still some gaps that I've got to seal up and in all honesty, I could probably just bring a small rag or something and kind of stuff in the corners to further seal this thing up. Um, and if this thing works really, really well, I might even look at putting some reflectix on the outside and just insulating that false tailgate just a little bit more. But just the way that I have this set up right now, thing is awesome. So I'm going to put a link to the video that gave me this idea. There are a couple of fellas that, that, that did this setup. Keith G is one of them and I Dakota outside is another guy that, that, that did this same type of setup. And I really liked I Dakota Outside's uh, setup. So I'm gonna put a link to his video in the description below because I wanna give him credit because I used a lot of his ideas because they were so good. I had to kind of tweak his design just a little bit to fit my tailgate. But if you have an older truck, it is very super simple because you can just build a straight false wall and that back glass will come and sit right on top of that wall. Mine's a little different, but I still made it work. But folks, you'll be seeing a lot more of this here coming up in the next few months because it's gonna be my new little buddy that's gonna tag along with me on every single camping episode. And if you followed along last year, I did use a Zero Breeze, but it was, and it worked pretty well, but it just was kind of a hassle to set up because I had to get it set up through my back glass of my truck shell and the back glass of my actual truck. Then I had to roll down my passenger window. I had to put a window baffle in and run some ducting and then put a bucket in the seat because it, it does collect condensation. It was just kind of a hassle to set up. This takes about three minutes max to get the tailgate in and push in the air conditioning unit. And this is just the cheapest Frigidaire 5000 BTU air conditioning unit that I could find. It's all analog dials, um, just very basic bones air conditioning unit. So nothing special here, but it's working great. Camping season is now open from June until August for this truck now. So, super excited. But anyway, guys, thanks for tagging along. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this setup or how I did anything, just leave me a comment and I will get back to you. So, so until next time, gang, thanks for watching. See you soon.